guys what's going on my name is Louis and god bless every single one of you today is january 8 2024 and welcome to the grand supreme news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share the video and it says here isr is on high alert after the takeout of this person very very important person that was taken out today now, there's a message sent to the ISR. Tonight, at 1800, this city will see fire. Mm. Mm -mm. Once again, and this information is coming out today, guys. Now, here's the thing, all right? So, that 1800 time frame, that time mark, has passed, and nothing happened to that city but isr is still on high alert they are still on high alert once again guys uh this information is coming today um isr has taken out someone very very important and i did post a video today the link will be in the comments box but i want to show you something really quick here look at this there was uh there was a plane All right, there was a plane, you see that? That is a sleeping giant bird. That's a sleeping giant plane right there. And it was circling near this area here. So um, that is something very, very concerning. Was it ISR that took this person out or was it a sleeping giant? That's the big question here. So a sleeping giant P-8 Poseidon surveillance on Siri lab, a senior uh, declares tonight at 1800 that this city will see fire. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters, prayer request you can send it to me Luis santiago at 3432 us highway 19 number two holiday florida 34691 guys i'm also going to bring this up too this is uh something that i wanted to talk about uh, a couple of days ago there was a video that was trending um you guys already heard about the las vegas judge uh, that was uh well you guys already know this man right here um, he didn't like what the judge said, and I guess he was sentenced to a certain amount of time. He didn't like it, and he flew right at her, and you guys know the rest of the story. Now, this judge is saying, I want to see him again in my courtroom, and he's going to see me. This time, they got this man. <laughs> oh, this look like that movie from uh, Anthony Hopkins. What's that movie called? Is that? Uh, it's when they have the mask on him. I, f I forget the name of the movie. Hannibal? I think it's Hannibal. I could be wrong. But uh, look at this. Look at that. They really got this man really cuffed. All right. So we're going to talk about this one here too, guys. Also, I just want to bring the sto uh, story really quick. Uh, this is happening in Williamsburg, Bridge, Brooklyn, Bridge, and Manhattan, and Bridge and other areas too. Even the Holland Tunnel are blocked by the the palace. I'm saying the name wrong for a reason. Just follow me on this one. All right, so they out there. They're still doing their thing. Um, I haven't been talking about this a lot because, again, it's just... It's something that uh, they're going to be doing for a while. So I'm not going to be posting too much breaking news of this event. All right. They're going to be blocking bridges. They're going to be blocking airports. They're going to be holding signs. Again, it's just them expressing their concerns about money being sent to ISR. 
and they're using that money to strike the strip. So, again, guys, uh, uh, a lot of this stuff goes on almost every other day. and uh, But uh, at the very end, uh, they, you know, it's what you call the freedom of rights and freedom of speech. They're out there holding signs. But blocking bridge and all that type of stuff, that's not the way you're doing it. So, here's the thing. Uh, the sleeping giant leader, he really don't care about this. So for those who are out there holding these signs, again, just to let you know, Mr. B uh, Mr. Burns really don't care. He really don't care if you go out and do these type of stuff. They're going to continue doing what they're doing. And give me a second here, guys. Also, uh, we need prayer request. All right. Uh, there's um, my sister-in-law and her husband um, live in Maine, and it's really cold up there, and they are not in 100% good shape. Um, there's a lot of uh, that CV going around. Uh, everybody's getting, <coughs> you know what, S I C K. So she's in the ER because her husband can't barely, you know having tough time with the uh, L-U-N-G-S. So pray for them, please. Pray for many people up north. I know a lot of friends up there that is also going through the same situation. Now, I believe what's going on is the cold front. The cold front is coming in, and this cold front is like ster steroids when it comes to these uh, the CV going around. So I will talk more about it. I might go live later on. Uh, I recommend people to stay home, stay warm. All right, uh, that cold front is gonna, you know, is going to, uh, it's gonna be big, and there's a storm coming. So I did post a video. Make sure you share the video. I'm giving uh, a week heads advance about this storm. All right, so it's very important to share the video. Also, we need another prayer request. Uh, Twelve years old, a young one, in. Um, I don't know what country it is, but this young one uh, is going through really, really tough time. Um, it's a mosquito something, and this young one is going through a tough time, um, and there's no cure for that one. So the, uh, the only cure is prayer. So please continue to pray for many who are being impacted around the world. It's very important to stay in prayer. All right, very, very, very important to stay in prayer. All right, so uh, let's see what's going on here, guys. Give me a second. We're going to go with this one right here. All right, so just looking at this, this is a sleeping giant P8 Poseidon out there. All right, and uh, at the same time, something happened to a very important person out there. While the sleeping giant bird was out there doing all these circling stuff so yeah um all right so we're gonna uh oh here we go here we go i'm so sorry guys someone just opened the door and i kind of lost lost a little focus here all right so let's start with this one and then we're gonna go with the story of las vegas all right, so claims, all right? So it says here you have the city will F-I-R-E tonight at 1800. Breaking news. 1800 has already passed. It's got to be like 2100 time frame out there. So I don't know if they're still going to do it. Maybe tomorrow, maybe another time. But uh, again, uh, it seems like this one here, they've kind of put a pause. After ISR strikes and take out someone very important retaliation said eminent all right so i did post a video and uh, this here's an update but this is a message that was sent out to the isr all right so this city will fire down at 1800 tonight it's the claim coming out of lab today after isr drone strike and lab taking out someone very, very, very important. All right, so the brother, uh, the brother-in-law, was a senior health commander of the forces. 
again, very important man here. According to widespread word coming out of lead, as of noon on Monday, Eastern Time, uh, yeah, noon, uh, yeah, it's already 2.48 p.m. Eastern Time, this city will FIRE down at 1800 tonight. Intelligence sources say retaliation is imminent. And other reports confirm ISR is now on high alert. Updates. We have an update. Persia rejects the Sleeping Giant offer for cease FIRE talks in ISR. Persia has confirmed it received a convert Sleeping Giant proposal for regional peace delivered by Saudi. Focusing on our, uh, excuse me, focusing on not expanding the biblical war, as well as peace in the region. Now, Persian response was that if it's not their war and their allies in the region like HM and Hellsbull and others have freedom to decide for themselves. All right, so Persia is saying, why are you coming to me? Talk to them. <laughs> What are you coming to me for? Talk to them. Talk to them. They don't want who's doing that. Well, you think I'm uh, I'm like their master, which I am. But still, you have to talk to them, not to me. <laughs> All right, so that didn't work out. That definitely, definitely did not work out. All right, let's see what's going on with uh, Las Vegas. They call this place Sin City. And they got that man looking like uh, uh, the guy from Batman, Bane. I think Bane, Bane. I forget the name. And uh, the guy uh, that Anthony Hopkins plays Hannibal. All right. So a man accused of striking a Las Vegas judge appear in front of her again to continue last week Darrell's sentencing hearing. Now, once again, I'm gonna skip her name. Uh, was seen in a video launching. Wait a minute, hold on. So his name is. Is that Daryl Brock? Uh, hold on, give me a second here. At first, I thought this uh, this was the judge. Give me a second here. Give me a second. I guess his name is Dio Bra, uh, 30 years old, was seen in a viral video launching himself at District Judge uh, on Wednesday. And I seen the video. I mean, here's the thing, guys. I mean, there's a lot of things that I see in this video that's, uh, it's, number one, that man should have been cuffed. Or that man should have had, like, you know, some kind of uh, security officer right next to him he uh, he was just doing this and everything and trying to be nice to the judge and then the judge said well you know just looking at this he deserved to have a little more harsh uh, punishment and that's when he kind of flipped out and he flew he was like uh superman uh that that thing had to be i mean that podium thing had to be like at least a good six foot uh high and he flew over that thing um, so yeah, uh, he's going to serve some big time for that. Forget about the, uh, the, the little punishment that she said. This one here is going to be the big one. Um, so once again, it says here in court Monday, uh, you have the, the judge ordered, uh, this person shackled in a face mask and orange gloves. While surrounded by six officers to serve 19 to 48 months behind bars on a charge of attempted battery with substantial bodily harm in connection with an April. Okay, so hold on. So from 19 to 48 months behind bars, forget that. He's probably going to do 15 years. There's a possibility he's going to do 15 years. I don't know, guys, but uh, he should have done the 19th. To, again, you know, you, I mean, you broke the law. 
you can't do the time, don't commit the crime. I mean, that's the saying. Um, I want to make it clear that I am not changing or modifying the sentence I was imposing last week, she said. Now, a court order filed Friday indicates this person was ordered to be transported on to Monday's hearing by all means necessary. Now, once again, this person refused to be transported to court on Thursday for an initial appearance on charges related to the strike against a judge. He now faces charges of, look at all this here. Yeah. I'm going to skip a lot of this. Uh, whew. Man. Yeah, forget that now. All this. All that. So the judge and the courtroom uh, marshal were both impacted during uh, this person's sentencing hearing on Wednesday. Yeah, well, we're going to find out uh, sooner or later. But, uh, hmm. One thing I tell you guys is that uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ commanded us to pray for our enemies. All right, a lot of people is gonna be like, uh, "He deserved to rot in H E L L." Uh, that saying is very, very disturbing because basically, when people say stuff like that, is basically saying what well, Jesus. Who cares what you did in that cross? Nobody cares. When they say that person deserved to rot in H-E-L-L, -L, you basically saying, well, God, you sent your son for nothing. Jesus died for those who wants to repent. So this dude here, he has every right to repent. So he could repent. You know, this could be a lesson. Him in prison, he could change his life around by uh, seeking for Jesus Christ. Many times Jesus was thrown in prison. Again, Jesus didn't fly over and, and went after a judge. But to Jesus command us to go out and share the gospel and go visit the prison. Those who locked up, go out and teach them the word of God. Go to the hospital and, you know, pray for the sick or go out to the shelters and feed the poor. Jesus gave us strong commandments, you know, uh, how to become Christ-like. If you, if you say you love me and you want to follow me, do these things. But I hear a lot of people say he deserved to rot in H-E-L-L. -L. When you say stuff like that, you're basically saying, God, I really don't care what your son did in that cross. Control your tongue. Control your anger. Your tongue could be a weapon that could lead towards destruction. Spiritually, physically, and mentally. What this person, again, what this person did was wrong. And he deserved to, uh, you know, whatever the judge want to give him time and this and that. But, uh, again, uh, we need to pray for him. We need to pray for each other. We need to pray for everyone. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2. Holiday Florida 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, I'll post the videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.